Sundays on CBS. It's all here. There is one thing. One thing that would make me never worry about Carly again. What's that? Cut her out of your life. Promise me you will never see her again. Never. Ever. It's the same promise you made before, Jack. When she was missing, you, you were willing to do it then. Julia, I told you that I saw Carly yesterday. It, it, it was on business. I, I, I thought you got past that. I did. I did, until she started undermining everything with her, her snide comments and her, her innuendo. And, and you know what? Innuendo is way too subtle a word for no. what she does. She goes for my throat. Ignore her. I do. Eventually, she'll get it. We're married, honey. We, we're committed to each other. But that doesn't mean anything to her. It means something to us. And that's all that counts. Look, while hell needs my help investigating Craig Montgomery, I'm gonna run into the woman. That's just how it is. How has the entire police force to back him? You can step aside. Stop doing my job to make you feel more secure. It's one promise. If you can't do that for me as your wife, I don't have much faith in our future. You owe me, Carly. And you'll pay, one way or another. The move is yours. Then I'm moving out. One delivery, two tiny microchips, and one extremely large payday. Versus one extremely long prison sentence. No deal. Incorrect. Plus, you have nowhere to go. And you've got one chance to make your big deal. Now, if I walk out that door, you're vulnerable right now, Craig. I may need you, but you need me more. <laughs> You're bluffing? Really? Looks like I'm holding all the cards. to interrupt oh please do you know i hate thinking about this hearing the fact is memorial may lose one of its finest neurosurgeons today do you actually think the board will vote against ben it's possible camille did you want to talk you know when andy brought up these charges against Ben, I never imagined that it would actually go this far. And with Ben and I being so close and everything... It must be difficult for you working with John. Dr. Hughes, this is a really tough day for you. Andy's your stepson. You've been Ben's mentor for as long as I can remember. Camille, what is it? I just wish my timing could be better. But I can't put this off any longer. I'm quitting my job with Dr. Dixon, and I want to leave Memorial. It's not that big of a town. I mean, we're bound to run into each other sooner or later, right? Right. Right. So you're saying you're gonna miss me? Miss you? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. That was pretty low. That was pretty low. And here, I'm trying to give you a compliment. Oh, you know how to do that. <clears throat> it was very nice getting to know you. How's that? That's weak. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's weak. Okay, let me try this. Brother Ben is one lucky man. And why is that? Because you looked his way. Now we're talking. He's not giving up on you, you know. Is that Andy calling? Yeah. I just wish he would let me go. Only a fool would do that. Come on, Denise, answer your phone. Andy at the front door. What do you think you're doing? You shouldn't be out of this chair. Somebody could catch you.
had to stand up to reach the phone. Mom left it up to you. You sit down in this chair? Denise could have walked in that door or anything. No, there's no chance of that because Denise took off. Maybe she's, maybe she's at the Hope Sitters. Will you forget about Denise for a minute, Andy? Let's get our priorities straight. I know here. what my priorities are, my wife and my daughter, and I'm not going to lose them. Andrew, listen to me. In about half an hour, less than half an hour, you're going to have to testify in front of this hospital for review board. You've got to explain the miraculous new feelings you're having in your legs, and you've got to sell that, Andy, to Bob Hughes, to Ben Harris, to every doctor who's sitting on that panel, hoping that you're going to screw up. Will you stop obsessing about Denise? I did all of this for her and for my family. I'm not going to let that all go. Andrew, Denise is not in love with you. Everybody knows that. When are you going to accept that fact? My daughter has a mother, a father, and a family, and I'm going to see that she keeps them. And what, now hand me that phone. What happens to your precious family if you fail to show up and testify today? Hand me the phone. You start walking out of a clear blue sky. You've got to explain yourself to your daughter. What do you do about that? Uh, look, Denise is already suspicious. Okay, if I show up at that hearing and I perpetuate this lie and Ben's career suffers, then I'm going to lose them forever. His career? You... What about my career? Everybody's going to think I put you up to this. I'll fix that. Okay? How? By admitting that you stole a drug, that you injected yourself with it? The press will get on to that, Andy. You can bet your bottom dollar they will, and they're going to come down on everybody. And that includes your mother, and that includes Bob. Everybody. If I lose Denise and Hope, it's all for nothing. Do you get that? I get it better than you do, Andrew. If you don't testify today, Ben Harris walks away with everything. He takes your wife, he takes your daughter. You'll be lucky if you see her on weekends. I know what I'm talking about, Andrew. I've been there. This is your last chance to stop him. Want a snack that won't hold you back? Ah! Try Restix. Two light, crispy wafers covered with peanut butter and pure milk chocolate. Re-Sticks, the snack that won't hold you back. Because there's more to being a woman. There's Summer's Eve Feminine Care Products. Deodorant spray, powder, and feminine wash. Summer's Eve, enjoy being a woman. Do you, Irene? I do. Do you, Jerome? No, I don't. Sweetie. I'm sorry, honey. Kins, I just don't. I do. Hey. You don't see the bunny? Do you? You bet. It's his floppy bunny ears. That's a boombox. Jerome. New Thinkplot. A game of seeing things in ink blots and persuading others to see what you see. Cute little nose. <gasps> a bunny. I do see it. I do. By the inventor of Pictionary. New Thinkplot game. What can you spot in a block? Boombox. Labor of love took on a whole new meaning when Kyle was born. Twelve hours of labor. One of life's most joyful moments can also be one of its most painful. But take comfort, as so many women have, in Tylenol, the pain reliever doctors and hospitals choose most. Come meet your little brother. Hello. <laughs> Tylenol, take comfort in our strength. This performance is brought to you by Huggies Ultra Trim Diapers with the improved leak lock system. Drink more, leak less. Sunday, my folks come by, special time, so that's why I'm baking up these crescents. They're the heart of the meal. My heart to yours. Oh, Balmex Medicated Plus Baby Powder. Balmex makes a powder? It's medicated to help prevent diaper rash. Plus, it has this water lock ingredient to absorb twice as much moisture. I'm switching. I'm keeping. Balmex <laughs> Medicated Plus Baby Powder, as protective as you. Hear personal stories of surviving breast cancer tomorrow on The Early Show. A divorced mother falls for a mysterious stranger. Why can't you see what a con man he is? Sissy Spacek, Bo Bridges. Will you marry me? Songs in Ordinary Times, CBS Sunday. I, I, I don't know, Isaac, man. Maybe I shouldn't go to this hearing, you know. I know it. At least not walking there with Ben. You don't want to give the in-laws the wrong idea? 
No, I don't want to give Ben the wrong idea. I mean, come on, it's what you said before about Ben not wanting to give up on us being together. Look, he, he wants you back. Big surprise. Yeah, but I need time. Because of you. <sighs> Look, you, you don't want to be related to me even by marriage, huh? No, come on, Isaac, it's not because of that. It's because you helped open my eyes about some things. You helped me see how hard I was trying to fit into the Hughes family mold and, and Ben's mold, and that's just not who I am. Well, whoever you are, looks all good to me. Uh, is, uh, Camille coming to the here? You know, I, I don't know. You know, they're probably gonna ask her to testify because, you know, she's the one that found out about that medicine missing and the syringe. Yeah, well, I hope not. I don't want her to get into any more trouble with John Dixon. Mm-hmm. What? Well, she did what she did because of Ben and because she's a good person. Uh-huh. Look, I'm serious. It, it had nothing to do with me. Come on, Isaac. Then why do you feel so guilty? Look, I'm getting pretty good at reading you, too. So why are you trying to deny it? I asked her to help me. Now John Dixon's gonna come down on her with both feet. You, your, your living situation is all messed Wait, up. Isaac, You're accused, Dixon. Look, Dixon. I don't know about Camille, but I'm okay with the way things turned out, okay? Yeah. I mean, Hope and I, I know that we're, we're gonna be fine, even if, even if I don't know what's gonna happen next. So you don't regret it? No. Not yet, anyway. I mean... Well, why don't you ask me again in a couple of weeks? So I will be seeing you then. Only if you save me a dance at Java Underground. Hey, as many as you want. Uh, <clears throat> you know what? I should, I should be going. Uh, I should be getting to the hearing. Okay. So you, you you're not gonna wait for Ben? Um, I'm gonna need my car later. So just tell him I'll meet him at the parking lot. That's nice. What? That you're not going to let him go alone. Well, those Hughes and Dixons, they'll probably be out in full force. And, you know, Ben, do not look at me like that. Ben, you know, he, he may not have much, but at least he has a little family. Well, he's lucky to have you, Isaac. I'll see you there. Isaac Lee? Yeah, he said he'd uh, meet you outside the hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, Doc, I don't have to go back to school today, this being your big shot day and all. Any folks in the stands to cheer for your son? Uh, right? Right. Yeah, I appreciate the thought, Einstein, but uh, I have all the support I need. Oh, I see you guys are getting it back on again, huh? Wait, well, uh, nice Curtis, it's no, not no, been no, in... We're uh, not back together. But after today, things are going to be a lot different. Look, I, I, I'm going to go swing by, uh the sitter and check on Hope before the hearing. Okay. I gotta get Curtis back to school anyway. Ben, you look calm. You... Well, I guess I'm gonna be nervous enough for both of us. Nervous? Why? He'll win. Nobody's dumb enough to kick Dr. Ben to the curb. <laughs> oh. Your time is perfect, honey. No, we just sorry. finished. I'm sorry. Uh... What's wrong? Uh, sit, down, sit down. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't want you to be late for work at the clinic. I, I really have to get to Ben's hearing. You really have to tell me what's wrong. It's, um, about Andy. He's been lying to us. About his condition? You mean he's worse than we knew? No, 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 no not in that way. He's been pretending. He can walk. Walk? How long has he been able? I have no idea. I, I, if, if Ben's diagnosis was right, and at this point there's absolutely no reason to believe it wasn't, 
Then I suppose Andy got his mobility back right after the operation. How could he have done this to, to all of us? How could he have let us all think that he'd never walk again? Now, maybe we're jumping to conclusions. How can you be certain? Because I saw him. He didn't know I was there. I saw him. <laughs> I saw him get up out of that wheelchair and stand there. I guess I should have known. I just, I wouldn't believe anybody. I wouldn't believe Ben or Denise or even Bob. I believed John instead. John? Can you believe how stupid I was? What has he to do with it? Oh, because he knows Andy can walk. I saw the two of them talking together. He probably orchestrated the whole thing. Just as he did with you years ago. Exactly. And Andy knew exactly what his father had done to me. And how could he turn around and do the same thing to Denise? I mean, it was right there in front of me. The whole time. And I just refused to believe it. You were being loyal to your son. Yeah. And now I have to betray him. I have to go to the board. And I have to make a public admission because that is absolutely the only way to clear Ben's name. Shouldn't you talk to Andy oh, first? Come on, come on, he has been lying to us for months. Do you really think that he's going to go in there and tell the truth just to please me? Andy has been searching desperately for love ever since Courtney walked out on him. You have to try, Kim. He's your son. Camille, I know better than anyone else at this hospital the way John Dixon can be, but please, just uh, let's reconsider. I can assign you to another doctor. No, no. Everything's already set in motion, and Dr. Hughes, it's really what I want. I'd like to just give my notice, and if, if I could leave as soon as possible, that would be great. Uh, I hate to lose you. You've been a very good physician's assistant, and I think you'll make a fine doctor. Thank you. That means a lot to me. But I have no choice. I have to accept your decision. Well, I'll hate to see you go. And John Dixon will, too. Well, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something here? Hello, Camille. No, no. We're done. Thank you. What was that all about? Well, apparently, you've been kind of tough on Camille lately. Oh, oh, so she comes running to you to cry on your shoulder instead of taking it out of my hide, huh? Well, that's kind of unusual. This is serious, John. Yeah. Oh, I'll deal with my assistant later. I want to talk to you about this hearing. Mm -hmm. Well, the entire board will be here very soon, and anything you have to say to me, you can say to all of them. I just want to make sure that you've alerted the board, you know, as to Andy's progress. The sensation is still returning in his leg. It's kind of remarkable. Well, it's too bad that there isn't a medical explanation. Well, I've seen more remarkable things in my career than a delayed recovery, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Remarkable, but none so convenient. What's the problem? The operation obviously was a success. The results were just a little bit delayed, more than we hoped for or anticipated. You know, a lot of people's lives have been disrupted by this. It's too bad that this, this miracle recovery didn't happen when there was a, a medical reason that was feasible. What are you implying? That Andy's been faking. You have proof of that? I don't know. Maybe he shot himself full of drugs. Or maybe you did it. You imply something like that, Bob, at this hearing, and you'll find yourself sitting in front of that board. If I find anything that you had something to do with this fraud, I'll see that you never practice medicine in this hospital again. Three cashews, that was... Wow! Hey, look at this dog. I think he wants a nut. No, dogs don't like nuts. Everyone loves Planters Nuts. Fresh roasted taste and they're cholesterol free. Guys. Very impressive. Planters, relax, go nuts. I've taken control of my life and I keep up on things that affect my health, like estrogen loss at menopause. It can lead to osteoporosis. Estrogen loss can also cause hot flashes, night sweats, and vaginal dryness. Studies show that menopause contributes to heart disease. Studies are investigating the connection between menopause and colon cancer, memory loss, sight loss, and tooth loss. Ask your doctor what you can do to protect your health during and after menopause. Believe me, the time to protect your future is now. 
When we asked some denture wearers why they don't use an adhesive, they didn't have a whole lot to say. I don't need it. My dentures fit fine, thanks. I haven't had a problem in 15 years. But then they tried fixing it, and they couldn't say enough. Makes them feel a lot more natural. I just plain forget I have them. They actually fit better. That's because fix it gives even the best-fitting dentures a better fit. It just proves you never know until you try. fix it and forget it. You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. Cold symptoms keeping you awake? <coughs> Get NyQuil. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can get the sleep you need to feel better medicine. <coughs> when you have a cold, even small tasks are a big pain. So get DayQuil, the daytime, non-drowsy, congested, stuffy head, sore throat, coughing, aching fever so you can get back your day medicine from the makers of NyQuil. Now there's a new Febreze formula made for another spot in the house. New Febreze for the wash laundry additive eliminates odors in one wash. So for odor-free, truly clean-smelling clothes, get new Febreze for the wash. For about a dollar a bottle, you can buy clean, pure water. Or for about a nickel, you can fill one up yourself. Find out more at purewater.com. Tommy loves when we grill outside. The smell is irresistible. The sound, so tempting. He gets so excited because he knows they plump when I cook them. And they get juicy and full of flavor. Ballpark cranks. They plump when you cook them. Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm looking for you. I thought you might be headed for the hearing. Hmm. No, I just wanted to see Andy before he testified. You in there already? No, the board is, though. What do you want to see me about? Uh, Hal approached me about... about Craig. Man, I should have seen this coming, that Hal would go through you to pump information about Craig. Something about black market microchips? Hal knows about that? Well, it's obviously not news to you. What's going on? I warned Craig. I tried to warn him all the good it did me. You mean he actually admitted being involved in something illegal? No, he didn't have to. Katie did that for him. I called her up and went on a little fishing expedition, and she spouted off about all the big plans that Craig had. But, of course, it's a little difficult to believe anything my sister says these days, so I went straight to the source. Craig denied everything? No. What did he say? Oh, he alluded, he implied, he hinted, but... Tom, he's so closed off now, and I can't get through to him. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's divorce or what. Well, I hope he's ready for a fight, because Hal is not going to let this thing drop. <sighs> Look, he's my brother. I can't let him go to prison. Can you tell him what Hal knows? Sure, I could, but then I'd be suspended. And he'd just go ahead with his plans anyway and pat me on the head. He, he wouldn't listen to what I said. All right, I'll tell him. You think he'd listen to you? He might if I offered him some legal assistance. What, you would refer him to a lawyer, honey? I'm sure he's got some big wig on retainer already. Well, probably not anybody local. I mean, it would have to be somebody that understood the workings of the legal system in Oakdale. You? I could do something like that. But how? You're so busy at the Argus. You want to babysit Craig? No, I missed the law. I'm sick of writing about cases that I could have won. Honey, you would do that for Craig? Mainly for myself. And the fact that he's my brother and I'm your lovely wife? Might have a little bit to do with it. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you sure you want to do this? I love playing cops and lawyers with you. Oh, baby, welcome back. I can't promise not to see her. Julia, it's not because I have any interest in Carly. It's because I have faith in us. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I have faith in us. Then it's me you don't trust. Hmm. It's me I don't trust. I just... I keep waiting for the moment when I'll believe that I was meant for you in a way that she wasn't. And you've said it. You've, you've shown me you, you married me. 
You have chosen me over and over again, but when I see Carly, I... I wonder if you could have her, would you still want me? What can I say to convince you? Nothing. No, you, you can't say anything. We just, we need to be together without her. You know, I mean, during our engagement, at, at our wedding, on our honeymoon, she, she's always there. I mean, she, she's even here now in this you room. You put her here. No, oh, Jack, I just, I can't get my bearings straight. I can't, can't enjoy being your wife. I can't even believe that I am your wife because she won't let me. I saw her yesterday because it was my job. But if anything legal comes up... Uh, and which is likely, it, considering her track record. Yeah, well, if that happens, then I'll let hell and the rest of the bunch take it. I'll take a back seat. But if they need my help, I'm not going to refuse to get involved. I can't. What if, um, what if she arranges to run into you? Julia, I, I can't run in the opposite direction just because Carly happens to run into me at the grocery store. I don't want... I, I want you to understand where my fears are coming from. No, I, I do. But you can't expect me to make them my fears. Honey, you have my word. If I have to go anywhere near Carly Tenney, you will be the first to know. Okay? No secrets. It really is a fascinating photograph, isn't it? Julia Lindsay, tete a -tete with Winston Lowe, Carly Tenney's husband, the husband that no one knew anything about. Well, no one but you. Okay. Can we agree on that much? No secrets? No secrets. <clears throat> oh, hi, Julia. <laughs> Uh, Jack, listen, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I've decided to go after Montgomery with both barrels, and I want you with me. I'll let you know where to deliver the rest of my things. You are not going anywhere until you tell me why you think I am vulnerable. Well, you're being investigated by the Oakdale Police Department. <laughs> Well, I have been investigated by a lot better. Oh, good. Then I guess you've got it covered then, and that's good, because as soon as I walk out that door, you can kiss my help goodbye. Your help? It just so happens I used to work for the Oakdale Police Department. Huh. <laughs> I was good at that job. Uh, and what were you, the resident psychic? I know how. And I know Jack. In the biblical sense, so... Uh... I know how they think. Now, I'd be willing to help you avoid certain pitfalls. The only thing I need you for is to deliver my microchips. Well, that ain't gonna happen. So I guess we've got a stalemate then. It's been real. Hmm. Only one person could make you that angry. That's correct. I just passed Carly on the way out. What did that bimbo do now? Hi, Kim. Oh, no, they haven't begun yet, have they? No, there's nobody from Ben's side of the case in there yet. We just wanted to say good luck to Andy, because we know this is going to be tough on him. Yeah, it really is. Hey, how about you? How are you holding up? So, so you haven't seen Andy at all, then? We kind of expected you guys to arrive together. No, no, the last time I saw him, he was with John. Well, then why don't we just call John? No, 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 he'll, he'll, I'm sure, they'll be here soon. It's just that I really need to talk to Andy before Ben gets here. I think it's uh, a little too late for that. Pepperidge Farm Milano Cookies. Rich chocolate, exquisite cookies. Sharing is overrated. Pepperidge Farm never had an ordinary day. Talk about a torture test. I took a leave to my two-day walk for charity. With my bad back, I needed something that wouldn't let me down. But a leave kept me going all day. Just two a leave can stop pain all day. It would take eight Tylenol to do that. Thanks, a leave. Oh, 
Nothing brightens your child's day like their favorite songs. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my head. Now Time Life Music brings you a new collection. 100 Best Love Songs for Kids for just $24.99. Imagine owning every one of your children's favorite songs all in one collection. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. You'll get all their favorite playtime songs. I've been working on the railroad all the living. All those great sing-along songs. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name all. And all of the best loved lullabies. One hundred songs for kids on four CDs or four cassettes for just twenty-four ninety-nine. 100 songs for kids. If you're not completely satisfied, Time Life will refund every penny of your purchase price. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, so call now for 100 songs for kids. Incy, wincy, spider went up the water spout. Down to order 100 songs for kids, call 1 800 435 5577. That's 1 800 435 5577. Or send 24 dollars for four CDs or four cassettes, plus $4.99 shipping and handling to 100 Songs for Kids, Department 3, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Tonight, you gotta have bet. Are you bilingual? Uh, just one time in college. It's the wildest comedy of the new season. Oh, fabulous! Your best bet for laughs. How about some of my famous homemade waffles? Fine. Okay. Brilliant TV from one of the funniest women in the world. Voila! An all-new bet. And the critics love Welcome to New York. I have theater tickets for you both. Any nudity? Christine Baranski's hilarious. You see cats? I saw half of it. Catch an all-new episode following that. CBS Tonight. So you've been getting away with murder since 1996. I don't think so. Getting his priorities right. It costs more than $2.62 a day to feed my dog. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on CBS 2. Come on. Call 1-800-204-2400 for the location nearest you. Get two for one or 50% off enrollment fee. There's a company that wants to approve you for a new Visa card. Whether it's Visa Classic to build or rebuild your credit, the prestige of Visa Gold with an even higher credit line, or the purchasing power of Visa Platinum, the only card you'll ever need. The company is Providian, one of the top issuers of Visa cards in the world with over 14 million customers. Whether it's Classic Gold or Platinum, call now and apply right over the phone. Providian will work hard to give you the card that's right for you. Visa from Providian. We approve. Meet the woman accusing ex-cop Rafael Perez of murder tonight at 5. The District, Saturdays on CBS. It's all here. Please, please tell me she's gone for good. She is not your concern. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go to my room then. I have another matter to discuss with you. Oh, the business deal that Carly was refusing to do. You want me to do it? You told Margot things I told you not to discuss. Well, Margot's our sister. I didn't realize that we were to keep secrets from family. Don't try to play me, Katie. Okay, um, yeah, I, I told her that there was uh, a sale in the works. 
You were to tell no one of my plans. You swore I could trust you. You can. Then why are the police on me? Who else did you have a little chat with at the station? Why would you even think that I would do something like that? Why don't you blame your lying, cheating little bimbo that just walked out on you? You tipped off the police, Katie. Margot would never arrest No me. excuses! You got that? No excuses! Okay. Go to your room while I figure out how to clean up this mess you got me in. Go to my room? You're telling me to go to my room? You can't treat me like a child. You are. A child, Katie. A spoiled, selfish child. I'm gonna go grab a file. Will you find me when you're done? See you, Julia. We're investigating Craig Montgomery, not Carly. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna be just fine. I will take deep breaths and meditate and think positive thoughts. <laughs> I think that'll do the trick. All I have to do is picture your face, and I'll get through it. And and if you see Carly, Julia, all I want you to do is think about last night and how much we enjoyed each other. Oh, man. What are you doing to me? Hmm? Just making sure that you come home in a hurry. <laughs> Sorry, Jack, I said the wrong thing. No, dude, it'll be okay. She just had a major run with Carly. She'll get past it. So, what's next? This. Since we don't have much on Montgomery, I'll figure we'll start with his dead partner. Winston Lowe. Right, that covers Lowe's known associates and their activities. On the date Montgomery left Oakdale? Right. We'll each take half. We'll work our way through. I think in here we've got enough to nail Montgomery. I'll meet you in my office. All right. Find Andy. Yeah, come on. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey. Hey, how you been? Good. Good, real good. I just wanted to come and wish you good luck. Well, I appreciate it. I can use all the support I can get in there. Listen, Ben, I, I'm sorry, but I can't sit in on the hearing. But I, I want you to know that my heart's with you. Mm -hmm. And my prayers are definitely with you, okay? Right. Well, thank you for everything, Camille. Really. I'll be seeing you around. Good luck. Did you find Andy? He was waiting in John's office. We missed him, so should we have him paged? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm sure they'll, they'll be here soon. One tiny Claritin relieves seasonal allergy symptoms for 24 hours without making you sleepy. So if you took one in the morning, after midnight, you'd still have hours and hours of relief coming. Claritin has a low occurrence of side effects, such as headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth, similar to sugar pills. Talk to your doctor about Claritin soon, or during regular office hours. Facts of Life by Lysol. Yeah. Fact, kids are not leak-proof. Fact, Lysol Cleaner is the best because it kills 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds and is the number one brand recommended by pediatricians. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Liquid Lip from Revlon Color Stay. Liquidy smooth. Liquidy sexy. And kiss off? No way. Revlon Liquid Lip. Recently in Indiana, something strange happened. A family came to dinner when called. Meanwhile, in Boston, chicken Alfredo was served. It disappeared. 
These events were traced to the freezer where this was found. Inside a meal with chicken and vegetables, kids actually like. Who could be responsible for these strange events? Oh, oh, oh. Green Giant complete skillet meals make dinner a giant success. I don't smell them. I'm the only cat left. It's all mine. You'd never know there were three cats in here. Three? Formulated for multiple cats? <laughs> Tidy cats. Multiple strength. For multiple cats. With Palm Olive Spring Sensations. Spring is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Botanical blends. So fresh. It's springtime every time you do dishes. Palm Olive Spring Sensations. Spring is in the air. Scientific studies have shown that marijuana use can be prevented by taking your kids to this clinic. Get the word on how to share your kids' activities and keep them drug-free. Get the book. Imagine being given the chance to visit the past, and there you find your one true love. I knew you before I even met you. Who in that picture is named Laura Brown? Sad. The way she died. What? Now, to save her, Charles Latimer will have to travel across time again, but he might never come back. This will be the last stop. Mark Harmon, Mary McDonald. Laura! A world premiere movie for all time. CBS Tonight. Wow. <laughs> I got it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, I. What were you thinking about before? You had a strange expression on your face, like we... Julia. She was just here. I was thinking of Julia. Well, I, I saw her earlier myself. Yeah, I heard about that. If you can't spin your side of the story, don't bother. I think it's sad that you have to harass her. Why don't you get on with your own life instead? Well, that's what I'm doing. How? By showing up here? Well, I, I hate to burst your bubble, Jack, but I'm not here to see you. Oh, pal. Hi, did you have a minute? Everything okay? Yeah, we just had a little accident. I'm gonna go uh, fix these files. What is it, Carly? This can't be about Parker. You just had an overnight visit. I know. And I'm grateful for that. It was really nice of you. Boy, <laughs> I really hate to do this. But I don't have any place else to turn. What is it, Carly? I need your help. Son, I really need to talk to you for Just a minute, Mom. The inquiry is about to begin. Wait a minute. Hmm? I want to talk to Andy. Can it wait? No, it can't. He really should be in there. He'll John, be for heaven's sakes. I want to talk to our son, and neither you nor anybody else is going to stop me. Now, back off. I got a taste for cookies. Break, break, break. Break and bake. Toll House cookies. Like magic, squares baking around Nestle Toll House cookies. Break and bake. Toll House cookies. Available in brownies, too. How'd you get here? Decon. How'd you get here? Decon. How'd you get here? Decon. How'd you get here? Oh, cat. What did you say? All right, I got caught by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> caught by a cat. <laughs> Number one decon. Puts mice where they belong. The most anticipated video and DVD <laughs> event of the year is too good to see just once. Bye! Yes, yes. You'll love watching it again and again. Toy Story 2. Now on video and DVD. Rated G. Duracell Ultra introduces their most powerful battery ever. With the advanced performance of new M3 technology, it's the most powerful alkaline battery in the world. Today I made an omelet. 
I picked an apple. I sent the facts. This is about chemotherapy and living your life. This is about Procrit. If you're a chemotherapy patient and you feel tired and weak, ask your doctor about Procrit. I played a game. Procrit is a natural way to regain red blood cells lost during chemotherapy. And more red blood cells can mean more strength. I caught a fish. Procrit is safe and effective. In studies, only diarrhea and edema occurred more often with Procrit than placebo. Procrit is for patients with non-myeloid cancers. I went to the store. Call now and learn how Procrit can help you get back the strength you need. Your strength for living. Freshetta, we pay extra close attention to the quality of our ingredients. There's nothing like the look of the survivor. But you look into their eyes, you can't help but be overwhelmed. Log on to NFL.com on Tuesday, October 24th, and click NFL for Her. The NFL will donate $5 for every page view up to $50,000 to the Komen Foundation. Log on to make a difference. I've, um, I've made a big decision, Hal. I walked away from Craig Montgomery. I'm not living at the Lakeview anymore. Smart move. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. I thought you would be. You know, I, I think that you're probably right about him, anyway. There's just one small problem now, and that's that I'm a little short of funds. I just need a small loan ah. until I can find another place to live. <laughs> I should have known. I will pay you back, Hal. You know I will. Besides, you already made the offer when I first came back to town, remember? Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then, Carl, you know. So you're turning me down. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled that you left Montgomery, if it's permanent. Of course it is. Why are you giving me such a hard time? <laughs> because I'm not your husband, your keeper, or your homeboy. The only thing we have in common is a son, A son Carly. who needs me. And how can I be here for him if I don't have a place to live? You said once that you wanted to be strong for Parker. Why don't you do that? Stop leaning on other people. Don't worry. I will take care of everything our son needs. But here is your chance to do something for yourself. You've done it before. Do it again. Get a job like the rest of the world. I will. I will do that. But until then, I need a place to sleep. I can't stay with Molly right now. I don't have any place else to turn. Unless I go back to Craig. Uh, is that a threat? He's willing to help me. You're not. You see, this is why I can't trust you, Carly. I deny you one thing and you turn on me. I'm just looking out for myself. You just said I had to do that. I stood up for you with Barbara, with my friends, and you threatened to take Parker away from me. Say I do give you the money. What guarantee do I have that you'll remember that when the next sugar daddy comes along? Right. All right, so this, this is all about that custody thing, right? Well, that was just Craig. I don't want to take Parker away from you. Well, even if I did want to help, I don't have unlimited resources, and things are really crazy between Barbara and me right now, so... Sorry, can't do it. Well, you leave me no choice, then. I'm putting you on notice. Before you even think about crawling back to Craig Montgomery, you remember this. If he has done anything, and I mean anything illegal, I'm gonna bring him down. And if you have even your little finger in that illegal pie, I'm going to bring you down, too. Do you know why I treat you like a child? Look at the mess you've made for me. Look at the mess you've made of your career, your delusions about Holden Snyder. 
Well, you know, sometimes there's just one way to deal with a spoiled child. Come here. What are you doing? What Mama should have done 15 years ago. Ah! I'm gonna spank what you! What the hell? You can't spank me! Why not? Because I'm your sister! So? Your sister! And you treat me with zero respect! You wanna know why I went to go see Margot? I thought she was actually gonna apologize to me. What a joke, huh? That she actually cares about me? You told her everything because you wanted to feel more important? I didn't think Margot would tell, all right? When you took me in, I was so happy that I finally mattered to someone in this family. That I was finally someone other than Mama's unpaid roadie and Margot's babysitter. But what the hell am I to you, Craig? Someone to kick around, someone to humiliate, to blindly do what you say? Well, spanking's not gonna do it. It's just gonna make me hate you. You are not some business associate. You are not some employee. You are my sister. And I did not take you in off the street to see you killed. All right? And that is exactly what's going to happen if the wrong people find out about these chips. You die! You understand that? All right. So unless you want to find yourself on the next plane to Bolivia, you will do what I tell you. Say yes, Craig. Yes, Craig. And do not ever disobey me again. Say yes, Craig. Yes, Craig. Thank you. Dad? Go ahead. It's okay. Uh, I'll be in in a minute. Mom, if you're worried about the hearing, don't. I'm just gonna go in there and... Tell the truth? Was there something you needed to tell me? Well, I, I just asked you the question, are you going to go in there and tell the truth? I don't understand. What don't you understand? I mean, you do know the difference between right and wrong. I, I just am asking you, are you going to go in there and tell the truth? Finally. You know. I've got to get in there. Son. Everybody's waiting. Son, no matter how desperate you are to hold on to Denise and Hope, you cannot force a family. Honey, it takes all kinds of love. It takes and love? You're going to tell me about love? I love Denise and I love Hope with all my heart. I know you say you love them with your whole heart. You have been manipulating Denise's affections and you destroyed the life and the reputation of the man she loves and you've violated that sacred, that most precious exchange between a man and a woman. Now, son, listen, I know that you are longing for Denise to fall in love with you, to learn to love you. But you seem to think that if you force her into this life that she doesn't want, that you're going to be able to hold on to her and hope. And unfortunately, the harder you hold on, the farther away you send her. And I promise you, she will learn to hate you. I certainly can't tell you what to do anymore. You are not my little boy anymore. You're a man. You are a grown man, and you have to make your own choices. So I, I just have to hope that when that time comes, that I just have to know that you are going to find it in your heart to do the right thing. And what if I don't? No other sale reaches so many people in so many different ways. It's Sears Days, going on right now. The lowest prices of the season on some of life's greatest brands. 
These Canyon River Blues jeans for young men, juniors, and kids are as low as $9.99. Yeah, we said $9.99.